Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel today. You guys are watching a fitness vlog. Today's theme of my vlog is pretty much all about binge eating and how to stop overeating, how to curve cravings, how to, you know, manage your portion control, everything like that. I take this very personally because I have, I've noticed over the past like couple weeks that I have a huge appetite. Like I eat so much food and I'm realizing that it's actually becoming a problem um, because I'm looking at pictures of myself and I'm like, now, I do work out all the time, and I do only pretty much eat healthy food whenever I do eat, like, a ton of food. But even if you overeat your food, you are still overeating, and it's still a lot of extra calories, and they all eventually do add up. And I know a lot of people struggle. I don't want to, like, trigger anyone, but I know a lot of people do struggle with binge eating disorder. It's something that, even if you don't have the disorder itself, a ton of people do tend to binge eat. And um, I, myself, am a part of that. Um, I wouldn't go as far as saying I have, like, the binge eating disorder. Order, but I definitely 100% binge eat and I feel like guilty when I do like binge eat and I know that I'm doing it but I can't always stop and I'm like but it just tastes so good. Granted it's like carrots and hummus and like almonds and nut butters and stuff but I'm like I just know that I'm eating too much food right now but I don't always want to stop it. So I've been really focused the past couple of weeks on trying to really manage my portion control and really just eat an appropriate amount of food and not like my entire body weight in food. Really quickly guys, I do just want to make this little like explanation to myself. I know I'm not like a nutritionist. I'm not certified in anything like this. These are just my tips that I have done over the past few weeks that have really helped me cut down on overeating all my food. So um, yeah, take it with a grain of salt, but I know I'm not a professional. I know I'm not certified. I know I'm not licensed. I know all that. These are just my personal tips. Um, talk to a nutritionist. Talk to whatever you want. These are just my tips, but enjoy the video. Love you. If you guys are new to my channel, new to the styling fam, hello, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. And if you guys are always here and you guys are part of my styling fam, welcome back. I miss you guys so much. So I'm just going to start off with two tips and then I'll get into like the vlog and how I incorporate the tips in the rest of the vlog. So my first tip is to look at food as fuel. You don't always need to look at food as like a reward or an indulgent or something that you're craving or just even something that tastes good. It's just fuel for your body. It's something that keeps your body going and it keeps it nourished and running smooth like an oiled machine like a well-oiled machine when you start to have a different relationship with food as opposed to have it be something good and that you enjoy you can enjoy your food but just look at it more as fuel and something that you know you you need to put it in your body so that your body functions properly and maintains itself and is healthy to drink a lot of water because a lot of times when you are thirsty your body can kind of disguise it as hunger so you eat and you eat and you eat but then you keep eating and you're like i'm still hungry it's your body telling you that you're thirsty so whenever you think that you're hungry just drink like a cup or so of water and if you're still hungry after that go ahead like make yourself some food but a lot of times your body can mistake thirst for hunger so yeah i am going to drink this water and then i'm going to go make my breakfast which brings me to my next tip which is to make sure that you guys are eating you cannot like go throughout the entire day not eating especially do not skip your breakfast breakfast is super super important when you do skip breakfast either it can go two ways you can be super 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 hungry at lunch and like eat a huge lunch way too big or you could like not be hungry until like four o'clock or dinner time and then you just binge all night so do not forget Either way, you're going to binge, and either way, you're going to overeat. So do not forget breakfast. You guys need to have three balanced meals and, like, one to two snacks a day. It is so important to eat and to put your body on a regular schedule. So, like, get used to eating breakfast at, like, 8 a.m. and then lunch at 12.30 and having a snack at 3 o'clock and then dinner at 6.30 or 7 um, and have, like, a morning snack at, like, 10. Like, it's so important to just get your body on a routine, on a cycle, and on a schedule. Make sure you guys are eating. With that being said, I'm going to go make my breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm going to eat. So for breakfast, I've been doing a bowl of fruit and I've been loving doing fruit for my breakfast. I used to do this all the time in high school and it just really starts my morning off on the right foot and I just feel super, I don't know, just like fresh and a really good start to the day and it's a good amount of carbohydrates. So this is what your bowl should look like. I use bananas, apples, strawberries, and blueberries and then I throw on a little bit of agave just because I like mine extra sweet. You totally don't have to do this. You honestly probably shouldn't do it but whatever, I do it anyway. And then this is cashew vanilla bean cookie butter. I am obsessed with this you literally see me eat it so many times in this vlog i'm obsessed all that it is is cashews vanilla bean extract and sea salt and that is it i'm so obsessed with it so i put that all over my fruit i really like get a good layering on there getting my extra calories you totally don't 
have to do this either. In high school, I would never like put peanut butter on top of my um, fruit either. I also like a little bit of cinnamon all up on there. I think it tastes really, really good. And then you just eat it up. It's a little bit later and I am ready for my morning snack. I ate that bowl at about like 7 15 7 30 ish um and now it's 9 22 so i'm gonna have a little snack normally i love getting carbs and a lot of my fats in in the morning so that they have time to like digest throughout the day so that tonight when i'm like going to bed or something i'm not i don't have like heavy carbs in my stomach it's been pretty much digested and it's been giving me energy all day and then at night it's like time to wind down and stuff so that also brings me to my next Point. Eat enough carbs throughout the day or at night you are going to absolutely binge the heck out on carbs You need to give your body energy You need to give your body sugar and you need to give your body fuel and when your body gets carbs and it gets sugar It gets happy and it's like yes, this is food. This is what we want. This is energy So what it does if you have a healthy amount of carbs also remember there are two different types of carbs I'll get into that in a second But when your body has enough carbs what it does is it stores it for energy and it just burns it throughout the day So you need to make sure that you guys have enough carbs in your diet that you are eating them. I recommend to, you know, start cutting back a little bit on the carbs around like four o'clock or so. Um, normally after lunch, it's pretty much when I say like, okay, like I'm kind of done with carbs for the day. Not like done with carbs. I mean, obviously I'll have like sweet potatoes for dinner or something like that, but like heavy carb fruits or oatmeal or anything like that, um, pretty much done like by lunchtime. So there are two types of carbs. As I said, there is simple carbs and there are complex carbs. Simple carbs are like the cereals and the bagels and the breads that, you know, you eat and they taste really good in the moment and then 15 minutes later you're hungry again. So then complex carbs like vegetables and grains and rice and quinoa, potatoes, um, some breads, some nut butter, some nuts, like stuff like that. So complex carbs are the good carbs that will keep you full, give you energy, and they're also nutritious. So make sure that you guys have enough carbs in your diet. With that being said, I'm gonna make a little morning snack that I love to eat. I used to eat this all the time like during school, but I just sort of amped it up a little bit because now I have a kitchen available to me at all times, which is honestly kind of very dangerous, but whatever. So anyway, let's make our morning snack. Now on to my snack. I love fats in the morning. <laughs> fats and carbs are like my favorite thing ever in the morning. I just love to like indulge in healthy foods. So I'm cutting up another apple. These are gala apples by the way. And of course I put on a little bit more of the cookie butter because obsessed with it. Cannot get enough. I also sprinkled in some walnuts, dipping the walnuts in the cookie butter. Life changing and then also this is a pumpkin spice energy ball which i will have the entire video where i made these linked down below if you guys want to watch it and make them for yourself but this is my snack okay it's later in the day so it's a little bit later in the day and now i'm gonna go make some lunch but that brings me to my next tip which is fats make sure that you guys are eating enough fat so you want to eat enough carbs so you guys have enough energy and so that your body literally is like satisfied mentally but you need fats because fats are what is going to make you feel full and what's going to keep you full the longest so fats are v important to your diet make sure that you guys eat enough fats that keep you full and then it'll make you not overeat later so i'm going to show you guys the lunch that i've been doing a ton lately it is my favorite and it's super filling and super super yum it has protein fats and veggies and it's perfect for the middle of the day so let's make it all right, now on to lunch. I love having a source of protein. So today I chose an omelet. Some days I'll have eggs. Uh, that is eggs. <laughs> Some days I'll have chicken because um, I roast chicken ahead of time. So I always have it available. But today I was feeling an omelet. So this is egg whites. Um, I just like the egg whites instead of the yolks. So whatever. Egg whites in a pan and I just let them do their thing and um, get all omelette-y and whatever. <laughs> I love omelets. I used to make them all the time when I was little, so it's like really fun to make omelets now. I feel like I don't make them as much anymore, but I throw in some pepper, I throw in some salt, and uh, yeah, I just let it do its thing, and then I go ahead and I flip it, and I don't put anything in it in the pan. I do it when it gets out of the pan, which I'll show you guys in a second. So, omelet is ready to go. Then I throw it onto my plate, and look how beautiful it looks. Like, it's like, it looks like a crepe. <laughs> Um, and then I like to throw in avocado. So I normally put in about half of an avocado into my omelets and I just eat it egg white and um, avocado. I think it is so, so yummy. This is like my addiction right now. I crave it all the freaking time. It is so good. So yeah, just throw that in there. Then your omelet should look something like this, nice and full. And then you just fold it over and pat it and then you're good to go. Um, but also, I roasted up some veggies, and it's Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots, and uh, sweet potatoes. And I do this all the time, so I just wanted to skip it because you guys have seen it so many times. But I made a ton, and I'm going to have half for lunch and then half for dinner. And this is my lunch. 
it's later. <laughs> it's way later. I got my nails done. And I also taught spin. So this is me after spin right now. But um, that lunch that I had filled me up. So I didn't even need to have an afternoon snack. But if I were to have a snack, I would have had carrots and hummus and probably almonds or like walnuts or something. Um, I like to have veggies and something to dip my veggies in for like extra calories and keep me more full. And fats because obviously fats keep you full. Now for dinner, um, I am the lazy when it comes to dinner. So sometimes I'll even make like another omelet, but I roasted chicken earlier this week, so that's what I'm gonna have. So the chicken that I roasted, I just did it in the oven for 350 and I did it for about 45 minutes or so and I just seasoned it with, this looks really like gross like when I just hold it up because it's like refrigerated, it's not like, <laughs> it's like so refrigerated and like chilled right now. But anyway, this has garlic powder, paprika, Himalayan pink sea salt and, gar and pepper and just in the oven for 345. So I'm going to warm that up with some veggies and that's just all I'm gonna have for dinner. Um, for veggies, I'm just gonna have raw carrots and hummus and raw broccoli with it because um, I was supposed to have half of those veggies for lunch but I ate all of them, so. So I'm gonna make this dinner and then while I'm eating dinner, I'm gonna share my last few tips with you guys. I, I was way hungrier than I thought so I was just like downing my dinner and like I wasn't even like breathing for air. So now that I'm eating my dessert, which is walnuts dipped in the, this vanilla butter, obsessed with it like obsessed with this i can't get enough so now let's talk about the last couple of tips that i have about binge eating my first thing is when it comes to cravings i know cravings are super hard to curve but they can be curved one of my favorite ways is to literally drink apple cider vinegar i'm not kidding when you are craving something and you know that it's like unhealthy or it's like something you shouldn't be eating um drink apple cider vinegar and i'm not kidding your craving will go away this is me whenever i drink apple cider vinegar Ugh. Ugh. It's not even that bad. Do it for the health. Ugh. Ugh. Also, another thing is think about what you're craving. So, like, if you're craving carbs, opt for a sweet potato instead of, like, a bag of chips or something like that. Like, replace what food group you are craving for something healthier if you have to indulge in that moment. This ties back into, like, bored eating and eating when you're bored or, like, you're watching TV and you're just, like, mindlessly eating. Do something productive when you do that. Go on a walk or... I don't know, answer emails or do homework, like do something productive. Do something productive to take your mind off of just like mindless bored eating because that will seriously catch up to you. Next is to track your food. Now, I'm not saying you have to like count calories, hell no. Writing it down on your phone of like what you ate that day, um, in a notebook, wherever. Just having it written down so you can be held accountable for how much you're eating. And once you really see it like written out, how much you eat, you kind of realize like how much you eat in a day. And then you sort of think like, okay, maybe I shouldn't eat as much. Or maybe you write down how you feel after you ate every food so that when you're craving that food like tomorrow, you can look back in your food diary and you can be like, okay, well, when I ate this granola, I felt good, but then I was hungry in 10 more minutes. So stuff like that. And my last tip is to figure out why you are binge eating or why you're overeating. Is it because you're stressed, you're anxious, are you depressed? Like, what is it? A lot of people turn to food as an outlet, as a way of comfort or a way of feeling like secure again or whole again or a way to distract them from how they're really feeling. Dig a little bit deeper to the root of the problem and find a new outlet to express that in. Maybe go to the gym or start reading or writing or I don't know, like do something to kind of distract yourself and don't always turn to food because that can create problems and that might be why you're watching this video so yeah those are my binge eating tips i'm just going to continue eating my dessert and um we'll finish this vlog off together all right guys it is the next day and i am off to go teach a spin class but i wanted to end this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed my tips on how to stop binge eating stop how to overeat and also just a little bit of like what i eat in a day to keep me full and to keep me from not overeating all day so yeah i hope that was helpful if you guys want me to do any other tips like this let me know in the comments down below and i can definitely arrange that to happen so yeah i'm off to teach i hope you guys all enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys all in my next fitness vlog bye